NASA is looking for life in all the wrong places. The search for extraterrestrials is next on today's Creation Moment. And now our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. Several years ago, I read a short story about three friends sitting around a campfire discussing whether life on other planets would ever be found. Two of them believe in life on other planets, but one disagrees. He insists that God created life on their planet alone. As the conversation continues, one of them sees the fire is dying out, so he stirs the smouldering embers with a stick he is holding in his third green tentacle. Yes, I enjoy science fiction stories, but as a creationist and Bible-believing Christian, I have my feet planted solidly on God's Word. Since the Bible does not teach that extraterrestrial life exists, neither do I. Nevertheless, NASA recently announced that they would be launching new space telescopes to look for planets capable of supporting life. According to Science News, the first to be launched is NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. The second is the James Webb Space Telescope. Quote, with their powers combined, Science News said, TESS and James Webb could identify nearby planets that are good candidates for life. These worlds will probably be quite different from Earth. They'll be a bit larger and orbit faint red suns. But some researchers hope that a few will offer hints of alien biology. Creation Moments predicts that they won't find what they're looking for. If scientists would only turn to searching for the creator of life, they would find him for sure. To learn more about Creation Moments, visit our website at creationmoments.com. Creation Moments, for over 50 years revealing the scientific evidence of God's truth.